Lacera Summit Kingdom is a challenging city-building game that takes the genre to new heights. After your people are driven from the plains, you have to build them a new home on the mountainside. Each time you play a story or sandbox, you will build cities on different mountains with unique features and challenges. Your cities coexist, so you can tailor your trade network to the cities you've already built, rebuild the lost kingdom of Lacera. Each mountain has unique challenges, different shapes, layouts, resources, and weather conditions. Sometimes you have large lands to farm on green plains, and sometimes you have to extract precious metals from frozen areas. If you are in trouble for any resource, you can always trade with other cities. How excited are players for this medieval strategy city builder? Among the top wishlist games, on Steam like Starfield and Hollow Knight's Silk Song, there's Manor Lords. The medieval city builder is ambitious as heck and goes far beyond just building and managing a town, with tactical battles and a diplomacy system at your disposal as you expand and defend your holdings. The gridless building system will hopefully produce some genuine-looking towns and villages, and it's packed with historically accurate details. I played the Manor Lords demo in October, and while it was pretty brief and didn't include any of the combat systems, it was still excellent. Gord caught our eye when it was announced in 2021, developed by Covenant, a studio founded by CD Projekt Red producer Stan Just. Gord is a dark fantasy strategy game with town building and citizen management systems. Picture a Diablo game, but you're the mayor of that grim and gritty starting town, charged with growing and defending it, sending adventurers out into the world to complete quests and gather resources, and keeping your citizens alive and as happy as possible in what looks like a dark and dangerous world. Builders of Egypt is an economy-type city-building game set in the Nile Valley. The story begins in the little-known pre-dynastic period, where you can observe the birth of ancient Egypt, it ends with the death of Cleopatra. The most important aspect of the game is to manage urban planning skillfully by shaping road networks, placing buildings and considering this dual relationship. A well-designed city's economy thrives, which can turn into a city's income. Trade is the most important element in the royal treasury. If you do not trade, it is very difficult to maintain economic balance with taxes alone. Therefore, it will be necessary to produce products to export at prices that will dynamically change according to the geopolitical situation for the benefit of the player. Egyptian history is full of conflicts between rising and falling empires. You will have responsibilities, such as protecting cities from foreign military attacks, planning an attack, and joining forces at the command of the pharaoh. Empires and Tribes is a unique hybrid of a medieval city builder and a role-playing game. You will undertake the duties of a mayor in the 13th century and manage the expansion of your city, ensure the production of resources, develop innovative technologies, negotiate new laws with the city council, and raise a powerful army to protect yourself from rival principalities. In Empires and Tribes you will find the classic game principles of a real-time strategy game combined with the possibilities of a role-playing game in first-person perspective. In addition to city planning and economic decisions, you can expect political power struggles in the city council, an indecisive priest, a strike-hungry population, bandits, begging monks, thieves, and four hostile principalities in the immediate vicinity. Demonstrate leadership, 
economic and diplomatic talent to maintain your place in the challenging world of empires and tribes. Plan and expand your settlement wisely and with skill, and you will lead it from a small fishing village to a thriving hub of trade. Tap natural resources, create residential areas and build public buildings, such as chapels and taverns to meet the growing needs of your inhabitants. Protect your settlement by building castles at strategically important points and expanding them with towers, gates, courtyards, and various expansions. Recruit units and construct siege weapons to finally bring your opponents to their knees in tactically demanding sieges. Here's a fun twist on the classic legend, Atlantis is a long-told mystery about a city that sat on the ocean and was sunk by the gods, or nature itself, for being too grand. Now though, the city has mysteriously resurfaced, and it's up to you to restore the kingdom to its former glory by rebuilding what was lost. This time around it's not just about making the city, but protecting the city form threats like tidal waves so that it doesn't sink again. You'll also need to be mindful of how you build Atlantis up because, making certain wrong moves can ensure that, the society dies. Pixels Higher is an upcoming game from developer Kappa Bits and publisher Merge Games. It's a sandbox RPG with pixel art which screams Stardew Valley at first glance. But Pixels Higher is doing more than just farming and fishing. You can farm, but the world of Arcadia also lets you terraform lands and build a town. So it has a little bit of Animal Crossing gameplay as well. As you continue to develop your farm in town, more citizens will join in and live there, and you get to build their homes. Outside of that, Pixels Hire lets you roam around a whole continent where you can travel, fight and encounter procedurally generated islands where you can also do some mining. Builders of Greece is a city management game which lets you display your strategic and economic mastery. If you've made it all the way here, then the grace of gods is with us. Have your builders and craftsmen raise magnificent structures and monuments in your name. As for yourself, look closely into all the nuances of planning, politics, and economics. Make your city expand beyond the horizons and let the word of its splendor reach the furthest corners of this land. Builders of Greece grants you the opportunity to witness the greatness of Hellenic metropolises before the time of Roman conquests. Frostpump 2 The follow-up to the well-liked survival game is another one of the most awaited city building games. 30 years after the events of the original game, players are faced with running a metropolis that has endured Earth's deep freeze in this second chapter. The objective is to maintain city residents' happiness as they dig for oil to survive. Frostpump 2's difficulty stems less from the cold than from the nature of people. Builders of China lets you manage the economy of various Chinese settlements, from the flooded banks of the Yellow River and the unpredictable North China Plain to the rugged Western Mountain Range. Build extensive irrigation systems to tame enemy lands, establish ports and trading posts, increase your population, research new technologies, and spread your culture and knowledge. Secure the mandate of heaven through lawful and benevolent sovereignty, or face overthrow by your subjects. The Middle Kingdom is a vast and diverse place, each region will challenge you with different problems and regional oddities, from strange weather to poor soil. You will need to adapt to these realities to create your own unique and complex system of farms, fisheries, workshops, and urban facilities. Overcome these obstacles and chart your own path to growth.
Thrive Heavy Lies the Crown is a medieval fantasy city builder that forces you to make dire decisions that ensure the survival of your kingdom and the people you lead. Volition is a valuable tool in your inventory as you build your city, shape the land and fortify it as you see fit. Burdened by the weight of your decisions, a seemingly trivial choice can shape your legacy and determine if you're a soulless tyrant or a fair and just monarch. The path by which you rule, be it benevolent or tyrannical, is determined entirely by the decisions you make. Thrive's narrative-driven event system presents dynamic, nuanced options that often make the best choice unclear. Compassion and communion with nature can empower you, but rapid growth and progression could catapult your dominion. One must always remember that a hero to some is a villain to others. Establish your presence in a large-scale 4X land, rich in possibility and potential conflict, with up to four friends. Compete for resources and develop relationships with numerous AI villages and kingdoms, strengthening your foothold in this new territory's active economy. Develop outposts and small villages to gain increased resources while helping to extend the reaches of trade. Going for a more low-key setting, the constructors will put you in a town that is set for reconstruction. You'll head up the construction company setup to do the building, and as the boss, you have to control everything and build the city back to its former glory. But how you do that is up to you from top to bottom, you'll decide the materials to use on things, how to construct certain rooms for things like apartments, and even have to deal with the local people if they're exactly your fans.